everyone. I have a Traveler's Notebook process video for you today. I'm going to be working in one of my favorite Traveler's Notebooks process, um, projects, and that is this book, which captures all of the art that I have seen over the years. We're going to be working, or we're going to be documenting a painting by Edgar Degas. I am a huge Impressionist fan, and so the first thing I did was I went ahead and cut down so I've gone ahead and I have cut down a piece of my pattern paper to just a little bit larger than my photograph. And I'm going to trim my photograph down. I pretty much just ended up cutting off the frame. Um, if you go into my Traveler's Notebook process videos, you can find um, other layouts from this particular Traveler's Notebook project. Um, I happened to, th I thought it was finished, and then I happened to come stumble across some more art photographs while I was going through some pictures and reorganizing a couple of things. So now I'm super excited, and I think I might actually have enough to finish this book, and maybe even have a second book. Um, so I'm going to be using a Stemperia paper pad and these ad adorable stamps from Jen Scow. That is my goal for this year I want to get uh, more of my Traveler's Notebooks and card videos up on my channel, so check. And then I want to use stamps on all of my projects, every project, so check. And then um, the rest is just going to be fun. So I started because I know I want to use these circles and I want to kind of float them throughout the left side of my spread. So I'm going to choose a placement for them. Um, I don't want them to go off the edge, so I'm going to kind of wiggle them around a little bit because I know that I don't want any to kind of be falling off the edge. I want to contain them all into uh, my page except for the top and bottom. So I don't mind if they float kind of off the top or off the bottom, but not, I don't want them to float off the sides. So this pad from Stamperia, if you've never had a pad from them, their pads include 12 by 12 papers, but they also include pages and pages of cut aparts. And I went ahead and binge watched a show the other night and I cut apart all the cut aparts that were part of that paper pad. So I have lots of pre-cut, ready to go die cuts here that I can use. I'm going to just choose some of the some of the different patterns here. Try to decide how I wanted to go. See, I was thinking I was going to make two rows of circles, but that wasn't going to work because then they were going to fall off into the other side of the spread, which I didn't want them to do. I'm inking everything up with some Distress ink in Hickory Smoke and then kind of placing these circles around. So, um, Stamperia is from... Oh, I used to know this. I completely lost track, lost the name of the country they're in. Hold on. They're in a different country. And so some of their products have wording on them. Hold on. I have another one of their paper pads right here because I use them a lot. Um, I get mine at a cherry on top, and I just, I think they're fabulous. They're from Hungary. Okay, so um, Stamperia is in Hungary, and so you will quite often find that they're, Cut apart sheets and different things have different, have, um, like the language isn't, it's not in English. So I use those pieces by kind of cutting them apart and using them as tuck ins or layers, and it works out really well that way. I have done my uh, journaling offline. Whoa, wait a minute. I lost a piece of footage there. Okay, there should be another piece of footage where I'm stamping the title, but apparently <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've lost that piece of footage. And so what I'm doing now is I've used the Jen Scow Adornit Alphas from her website, and I've stamped my title, which is going to be Dancers Pink and Green, which is the title of the painting. I've stamped it with just the regular, regular... Um, font and then you can come in with these adorable cute little pieces to add some color or some extra detail to your stamping and it is the coolest alphabet set. I'm so sorry my head is in the way. Um, I feel like I meant to keep the other part of the footage and not this part of the footage and I deleted the wrong part which is annoying to say the least. 
But if you have not seen Crafty Gen Scal stamps, they're gorgeous. They're photopolymer stamps. They stamp beautifully. They have these adorable little cute additions that you can put to your titles. And so that's the stamp set I chose to use on this layout today. And I'm super excited about it because I think it, it turns out really, really cute in the end. So there is my title all done, all ready to go. And then I had took this marble paper and I had cut it and I had marked, I marked where the marble paper was going to hit on the right side. And so that's why you can see there, there's like a nice line of stamping because I measured ahead of time and that was on part of the footage that I apparently accidentally deleted. And I'm just going to take that strip now and it's going to fit perfectly. And there you can see I'm kind of, I had a little tick mark there so I knew, you know, where I needed to line everything up for. Also a note about my journaling. I did my journaling off camera before I started with some fun information about this painting. So I always try to Every Traveler's Notebook page um, in this art book has a little bit of either handwritten journaling or type journaling talking about the uh, art and what I found interesting about the painting. So this little pa this painting has um, this fun little shadow of um, one of the opera's patrons so it's a man in a top hat and you can just see his little shadow right there and because he's a patron he was allowed to be backstage during the performance and he's allowed to dally with the ballet dancers um, but for whatever reason I affectionately refer to this particular painting of Degas as the dirty old man painting <laughs> because if you look at the shadow like there's the, the shadow of the man is like the little pouchy belly and all this stuff and it's just so funny to me and he's like hidden in there so you I think at the end of this spread I kind of pull the painting up and show you like the little shadow that's there so there's lots of fun and interesting things in paintings and those are the types of things that kind of give me a giggle when I see them and so those are the kinds of things that are in my notebook this particular art notebook uh, so I'm just going to go ahead now and I'm adding the offcuts from some of the circles uh, so that I can pull the circles in from one side of the spread into the other side. I'm just going to trim off the edges here. And now it's time to use some of these beautiful cut aparts that I have. I have put um, the ones I thought would work really well for this particular spread, I've put them off into this little bowl that I keep on my desk at all times. I have these little bowls that I have on my desk at all times. Uh, this little pink heart dish was actually a present from uh, my dear friend Christina when we were at Creativation last year. So for anyone ask, I know a lot of people have been asking me this, I'm not going to Creativation this year uh, so I won't have um, videos or Instagram posts or anything like that. I My health has not been the best and I also just ran into a situation where everything that could break was breaking. <laughs> so to give myself a little bit of a some financial wiggle room and also to kind of save my health or to give myself a rest, I've decided to forgo Creativation this year. But I will more than likely be back and going next year and then I will have all kinds of fun things to show you. So I am going to go ahead and I am tucking in all of these cute little die cut pieces and I have I'm just creating little floral clusters so these are tiny die cuts there there's larger ones I just pulled the rather small ones and I do end up using all the ones that I pulled because they just they worked really well for this layout so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna tuck in all of these little die cuts and this travelers notebook spread will be finished then uh, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are someone who watches my channel a lot and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Um, I love my subscribers. Uh, I love uh, being able to show you all kinds of different things. If you haven't yet, try to check out these stamps by John Scott. They're a really awesome, awesome stamp set and I really enjoy them. I think they're super fun and versatile. And that's going to complete this spread for today. I think I'm just putting stuff away, and I don't know why I didn't turn off the camera earlier. But, you know, it happens. Oh, I'm showing you the man. See him? See him right there? 
I'm telling you. All right. You all have a fabulous, a fabulous day. This was a really fun video to make and a really fun spread to share with you. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.